Hi everyone, Vincent Wynn here for Slash Here and Android Community.com. This here is the Galaxy Nexus Running Ice Cream Sandwich 4.0. The first feature you will see is the facial recognition to unlock the device. So that's something new. Uh, it works relatively well um, in, in dark light, but it does require some good lighting for the camera to see you. Now, if you have glasses on, the device will not be able to find you. So if you're anything like me where you wear glasses during the day or at night when you go to bed and contacts during the day, as you can see there, it failed that time. Let's give it one more shot. Oh, not again. And I'm directly right in front of it. There it goes. So it works. It works relatively well, but there are times where it's going to fail on you. So when that happens, let's try it again. You can basically unlock it manually, or if you have a password as a backup. So something else that I know is missing is the quick access to your camera uh, from the lock screen. Uh, so far, iPhone 5 is the only one that ha gives you quick access without logging in. Uh, whereas on Galaxy Nexus or Ice Cream Sandwich, it uh, doesn't allow you to do that if you have a, a lock screen up of some sort. So that's a big bummer. So let's go ahead and get started with the quick demo. Come on, let me in, please. Okay, there we go. So the first thing you'll notice, I've been able to uh, rearrange my icons. There are four down here. I've added a Google folder and a miscellaneous folder for all the apps I use the most. I added a camera and a phone. So let's see, speaking of camera, give you a quick walkthrough. Flash options white balance, exposure, different scenes. You can store locations if you want. There are three options here, camera, video, camera, and panoramic. Okay? So basically with panoramic mode, you just basically move your camera around like So, and I'm about to hit the wall here. And this is my bed. Okay, so basically that's the panoramic shot of my, uh, the courtyard in my hotel. So it's saving it right now. Then we'll use this as a demo, uh, <clears throat> a sample picture in our hands-on right up today. Okay, so that's it. If you want to view it, come back in. You can share it. Since um, everything is tied in, in terms of services, you can send it to G+, email, Facebook, Twitter, whatever service you have, you have hooked up into uh, Galaxy Nexus. So let's go back. So as you can see, there are these three icons down here. They're gonna be persistent across all the apps that you use. Sometimes they'll just show up as dots. So you just have to remember that the far right is gonna bring up all your apps running at the same, uh, currently running, home and back. Uh, something new in ICS is, is uh, widgets. So widgets are now combined into the same area as apps. So here are all my apps. But if I want to go to widgets, I just click on that. It took me a while to look for that, by the way. So all my widgets. Okay, so you have on the home screen, you have one pan or on one window, two, three, four, five. Can I add any more? Those are all the windows you're going to get. The nice thing is all your apps, you can basically create folders on the fly or delete apps or simply by dragging and dropping. So if you want to add this folder to the main area, you can if you wanted to. Um, email is something that's changed quite a bit for the better, of course. Uh, let's go back to my email widgets. So let's see the spam I just got in. 
you can back and forth. It's pretty nice. Lots of different options. Another nice thing is that the widgets are now, uh, well, there's a widget available for email now, so you can just view your emails right on the home screen. Okay. Search, the search bar is now persistent across all the windows. Can't change them. Okay, so let me, let's see. Search for Vincent Wynn's Galaxy Nexus review. Of course, it doesn't work. So that didn't work too well. Um, since we're in here, let me show you something else here. There's a there's a, a lab feature, if you will, something that's not something that doesn't get turned on by default by, from Google. So they'll basically let you turn it on in lab. Um, so what that means is. Let's see here, settings, labs. This is where Google will let you test out different stuff that's not currently available. Uh, either have run the browser in full screen or quick controls. And my quick control is what you just saw me did there. I swipe in from the side and there are three options. I can look at all, my, all the windows that's open or I can bring up a, a search bar or URL bar to type in whatever I want and settings. From here, you can do a whole bunch of different stuff like new incognito tab, save bookmark, share, uh, desktop, save for offline reading, etc. Okay, everything looks really good. So let's say we visit slash gear and see how the page renders. There's a new keyboard also, as you just noticed. Saw how quickly that came up. Pinch, zoom, rotate. And while we're looking at the display here, this is a 720 display with a very high resolution. It's 4.6 inch. You can see there, looks great, right? Okay, let me see what else I can tell you about ICS on the top of my head. Let's see. Okay, let's go show you how to set up facial recognition. So let me go back to settings. Security. Screen lock. So, face unlock, set it up, put my face in here, oh. there it goes, just pick my face there, continue, I have a pattern as a backup. Okay, so we're good to go. So let's test this out. Oh, that didn't work. There you go. And that is uh, the quick walkthrough of ICS. Make sure to check back on Slashgate for my full review. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Once again, this is Vincent Wynn.